Hi, this is Dr. Matt Wallace. And I'm Scott with Physical Therapy. We're bringing you another knee moment from Knee Fit and 5 and MSM products. I have a lot of patients in my office that have knee pain that also want to play tennis and they're concerned that they might be hurting their knee. I tell them that no, they are not hurting their knee and as long as they're not limping, they're able to safely play tennis and not worry about damaging their knee. Most times I send them to physical therapy, either through Knee Fit and 5, uh, the ones that want to go to a formal therapist, I send them to a formal therapist. But since we have a formal therapist, Scott, here today, I was going to ask him what exercises he would do for someone that has knee pain and would like to play tennis. Scott? Uh, well, let's just keep it simple. I mean, uh, if I break it down into three different things or three basic things. Uh, obviously, I want to work on strengthening. I want to work on flexibility. And I want to work on high-level balance. And so with the strengthening, you know, you want to focus on strengthening the, the thigh muscles or the quad muscles because they're so associated or so closely associated with the knee. Uh, but believe it or not, we want to strengthen the hips uh, quite a bit as well. They're, they're strong stabilizing muscles. They help us with our balance. Uh, I can tell you that one of the main muscles of the hip that we strengthen is called the gluteus medius. Uh, the gluteus medius is a muscle that sits kind of right above my wallet, so to speak, if you want to kind of get an idea where it's located. Uh, one of its primary movements is where you bring your leg out to the side. So that would be a strengthening exercise. Yeah, so if you wanted to lay, on, you could start off by lying on your back where you kind of eliminate gravity and you, and you slide your leg out to the side. Um, I can get real specific with this. You want to make sure your toes are pointed in the direction that you're facing. And you can see a lot of this over in Knee Fit and Five. But you can start off by doing it lying on your side. Uh, and then you could advance to doing it in the standing position where you're holding onto a chair or a countertop and, and going out to the side. And then eventually you could get to the, to the point where you're lying on your side and you're raising your leg up against gravity. So uh, that would be one great exercise to do for strengthening the hip muscles. Um, Flexibility, I, there's three major muscle groups that I focus on. I focus on uh, flexibility of the quad muscles or the thigh muscles, the hamstring muscles, the calf muscles. Usually recommend that when you're stretching, number one, you want your, your muscles to be warmed up um, and you want to hold the stretch for about a 30 second count. And that goes for the calf, the hamstrings, and the quads? Absolutely. Any muscle that you're stretching, you want to kind of warm it up a little bit and then when you're doing the stretch, once you get it into the stretch, you hold that stretch for a true 30 seconds and then you relax. You can repeat that several times. So maybe you're doing two or three sets of 30 second holds, uh, but you don't want to just hold it for five or 10 seconds and let go. I think you want a good, long, sustained stretch uh, when you're working on trying to lengthen the muscles or the muscles or the tendons that are attached to it. Uh, and then another one, especially with tennis, I think is higher level balance, you know, some exercises that we call proprioception exercises. If you like this video and found it informative and would like to have further information, please check out our YouTube channel as we have many informative videos there. Please also subscribe to our video channel and you'll get weekly updates with new information.